Thanks. Come closer, come closer, Lee. It's very nice to be here. And if you don't know, we're Big Joni. It's very nice to be here. used to be friends and it's about hating people <laughs> so if there's anyone you hate <laughs> also move closer there's a lot of gaps I can't see everyone please
seven o'clock on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Are you here? <laughs> Some of us six fifteen. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Some of us living in uh, Zone Three, North yeah, London. Yeah. That's the Zone Three life. I'm a Zone Three trip. It's not a good life. I'm Zone Three as well. Oh, it's sorry. hard for. I live in Zone Two, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Easy oh access way. to the tube. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about that. That's true. <laughs> it's a sometimes convenient mode of transport, yeah. but not all Londoners get, even though you'd assume a Londoner would get a tube. But like yeah. We share it with the mice down there. There's a lot of mice on the tube. You respect them. Let them do what they want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Digress. Um, we have new songs tonight, and um, <laughs> you can guess which ones they are. <laughs> she just told me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell it. I didn't say nothing. I could be just saying it randomly. <laughs> but anyway, guess. <laughs> oh wait, that's it. <laughs> All right. I wanna feel happier. This is our first time at uh, Hyde Park Book Club. Yeah. <laughs> I kept book. trying to say Picture House. So I was like, it's not the Picture House. <laughs> it's the other one. Do they have a book club here? A Picture House? No. no. Do they have a book club in the book club? Is there a book club? Oh, there is. Okay, cool. Just check it. Just check it. Otherwise, Perhaps don't want them cashing in on the book club name. That would be a uh, misrepresentation. Yeah. <laughs> Not having that. Okay. It's so true. <laughs> it is very true. <laughs> Someone else is studying law. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. So far, so good. Having a lovely time at the book club. Thanks for having us. I'm 
have a little more bass in my monitor, please. Love to hear. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so the next song is called Crooked Room, um, and it's from our 2016 single. And um, 
It's based on a quote by um, the black feminist academic Melissa Harris Perry, where she compares being a black woman in this um, racist, sexist, heteronormative, uh, I guess increasingly fascist and generally terrible world as trying to find your vertical in a room where everything is crooked. So it's about how the world is distorted around us to try and make us fail and try and make us think less of ourselves. And the song is about recognizing that crooked room, recognizing that right now things are incredibly fucked up, recognizing that things have been better and they can be much, much better in the future and we deserve better for ourselves and our communities. And breaking out of those spaces and those negative environments and creating spaces of our own. So that's why we formed a band as a black feminist punk band and that's why we play. So we hope we can bring that to you tonight. Thank you. <laughs> stood here judging your dance moves or anything like I that. I will. I will. <laughs> Try and dance in time or this will put me off. This is one of those drummer predicaments. Sometimes you have to keep time and then there's some person like... <laughs> and then you start. Drummers know they're like, God, yeah, fucking hell. Someone's finally said it. <coughs> pressure. <laughs> tuning yeah so we brought some merch up with us <laughs> yeah Woo, merch. it's over there in that back corner we have maybe some cds yeah some cds with the, the album on it like uh the songs on it the cds of our album uh sisters came out just at the end of 2018 um 
so you know it's still fresh it's under two years and uh, yeah maybe if you like some of this you could like buy it because you know trains are really expensive so we've got to get home up here to see you. Yeah, or we can stay. So. <laughs> Whichever one sounds worse. <laughs>
try to let go my love up Though if I was alone I could recover To write it always For crying on It's like If you uh, hear earlier, you might have heard uh, the talk on imposter syndrome, where I mentioned that this band started through First Timers uh, in London, which is a event where it's a big gig where every single band on the bill is playing for the first time, and it's all about encouraging people who maybe felt like they couldn't or shouldn't be in bands for whatever reason. Maybe they hadn't seen anyone who looked like them be in a band before um, it's a space to be like oh actually this whole thing is for you as well and it doesn't matter if you're not some like grade 8 musician or whatever you can still be on stage and share whatever it is you have to share with the world so yeah I think like I was thinking a lot about it today um, in relation to that topic of imposter syndrome because I think specifically at an event like this, talking about um, the music industry. Uh, it can feel very formulaic, or like people have to fit into a certain mold to be able to either be seen or taken seriously. And I think definitely within this band, we prove that that's not a thing. Yeah. Like there's no one way to do this. Like play however you want, whatever style you want, set your drums up however you want. There's no one right way to do it so hopefully like that'll just be something that you can think about for i don't know after this maybe i haven't fully finished the thought so <laughs> but yeah <laughs> um, yeah
yeah. yeah. Let's start a band. <laughs> start a band and, you know, we've had such an amazing journey and it's always great to, you know, play in lots of different cities and people come out and support us. But, like, yeah, you know, for those people who've maybe come today and, you know, thinking, oh, should I start a band? Start a band. I'd never played in a band before and, you know, now we've toured everywhere. We've played America. You haven't played drums before. I haven't yeah. played drums before. I hadn't done anything, actually. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I never had a live before Big Joni. <laughs> never. <laughs> Who was I? I don't know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and, and, you know, it's been an amazing... I think our story is... I hope that inspires a lot of people. And, you know, just last Thursday, we sold out the Moth Club, which was something I always aimed to do from when we started. So, you know, if we can do it, you can do it. And, you know, we're going to be supporting Sleep Symphony as well. So, <laughs> things can happen.
Words out of her mouth. <laughs> nice to keep the surprise. <laughs> Some of you have come Church. before. It's quite nice. <laughs> you know, you know what's coming. <laughs> so, um, yes, this song um, came out on our first EP, Kiss the Punk. And um, single. Single. Second sorry. single. <laughs> single. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, we uh, chose to cover this song, one, because we. Love nineties R and B girl groups, but also <laughs> because it says a lot about how we feel about the world, particularly around sexual harassment, around racism, all of that kind of stuff. And um, I'm sure some of you probably know it, so please sing along. But when we are leaving this room today, you know things are really hard for a lot of people out there. I'm sure you know we're all on the same way politically, as you wouldn't be coming to see Black Feminist Punk Band or, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening to a lot of people out there, 
Um, this rise in transphobia, homophobia, racism, all the shit that's being thrown us at the moment. And now we're in the midst of this backlash from these fascists saying that we're woke and all this fucking nonsense. Just keep going and doing what you're doing. It can be feel sometimes, you know, you're sitting at home online and all this horrible stuff is happening. Just remember there's lots of people out there who need your support and they need your voice to speak up for them if they're not able to do it for themselves. So please keep doing all the work you're doing. I know loads of you are doing amazing stuff out there. Please keep going. I want you to take all the positive energy that's come out of this room and continue on because we've got to keep fighting. We can't give up right now. Fuck Jess, Jess Phillips, I just really want to say fuck <laughs> Jess Phillips. So happy, a fucking transphobic racist fl fucker. Go I could go on a rant about this. Actually, one of the last things I want to say you know, before we start this song, because, like, sh I mean, she's the ultimate scrub in my opinion, but we'll, we'll go into that. You know, for our community, particularly as a queer person, you know, I was really disappointed to see, again, um, a lot of our cis white male brothering from our community supporting that woman. Again, please, 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 if you are a cis white gay man, please stop doing that shit. Please support our community, support your trans family, support queer women of colour, support queer women. Stop supporting these fucking trolls, these mum net trolls, and like just trying to keep the tea out of our family. It's there, it's not going anywhere, we're not going anywhere. Stop doing that shit, stop it. Thank you, I just need you to say it. I'm